All right, boys and girls, this one's going to be uh, a little bit of a long video, but I want to tell you how to save your worlds and how to save your coding projects. It's actually going to be two processes. So let me just get right to it. The first thing you want to make sure is that you have Minecraft open and you are in your Google Drive. Make sure those two things are happening. Uh, I'm in a folder called Minecraft, and uh, you can see the worlds have an extension .mc world for Minecraft world. And I have a few of those saved already. And then the code Boto, please call Pam at 406, Boto, 406. is called MKCD for, I guess, Minecraft code, whatever. That's how the extension is. And uh, you will name them whatever you want. So you can see, like this one I did not name at all. That's a default my world. But then I did label or name these uh the month and the year or whatever you want to do so that you know what it is okay so make sure you have that going on now so when you're in minecraft let's start with that part of it first and you have your world and when you go in and out of it it is going to take a little second to load in okay so here's my world let me just get back into uh here's my uh where i'm at here in my world and now i'm going to hit escape and i'm going to do save and exit and save and exit again and this is what you guys have been doing but there's there's another step now we're going to do once we get this back to the main screen here now we have to go into our let me move this out of the way we're going to view my world so you just saved it and when you go into my worlds you're going to see you're going to see that the date okay and today is the third i'm doing this on and this is the one I just saved. It, it will be in this location in here. Now, if I click on it, I'm going to get an option to play, host, settings, or manage. And I want to go to manage because, remember, this is in my computer. The file's in my computer, and I want to get it into my drive. So the first thing I have to do is export it. So I'm going to hit export. Where is it going to go? Generally, it's going to default to downloads folder, and that's a good place to put it downloads folder but here's the thing about saving files you got to know where you saved it because you're going to have to find it later and if you don't know where it is you're going to have a real hard time doing this so do double check where is it saving to download should be the default stick with the default you'll be good to go name it something okay so um for this one here i'm going to do um video test this is what i'm doing i'm making a video so it's a video test file and uh, now i'm gonna hit save and that's going to be about that okay now it's saving it and it's done now i have the file saved in the computer with a name and a location i know where it's at okay um but the other part of this is if you go back i'm going to go back in here now just to show you another part of it and I don't know why Minecraft does this. I think because Microsoft Make Code is working in, con they're kind of working together with Minecraft. The coding is not technically built into Minecraft, it's working with it. So they are two separate programs. So, in order to save your coding that you've done, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, is um, you must, uh, as soon as this loads in here, you must save that. And it's, it's kind of like the same process to do it um, mostly. But anyhow, when you're in your code editor here, um, this is my uh, coding that I made. So let me open it. <clears throat> and I have a few things. I have like mining coding. I have my uh, agent, you know, whatever you have in here, because you don't want to have to write this code every single time you play Minecraft. So, which this code could go into any world. So it's kind of good, I guess. And yeah, I'm going to hit these um, three lines right here. We call the hamburger. And I'm going to, no, that's not what I want to do. I'm sorry. That's not what I want to do. I want to go to, um, I just did this. <laughs> here we go. I want to go to this setting gear up here. And I want to save the project. This is what I want to do. I want to save the project. And again, it's going to pop up like it did before. So again, downloads. I want to say uh, what I'm going to name it. And I'm going to do um, test video, same thing as I did on the other one, OK? And save. OK, so now what do I have? I have my Minecraft world saved to my hard drive. And I have my coding, whatever coding I have done, 
also saved to my computer. So I can go ahead and close that. So now I'm going to go back out of here, and I'm going to go into my drive. I'm in my Minecraft drive. I know where my files are. All I have to do is upload them here. So make sure you're in the place where you want to put them, and I would make a Minecraft folder. It's going to make it easier to find it. Go to New. Go to File Upload. And it should, again, open up the downloads file a folder and make it easy, but sometimes it doesn't, so you got to know where it's at. And what do I call it? I call it test video, or a video test. I actually flip-flopped them. So if I click one, you can do it one at a time, or you can click one and then hold shift and click the other one to tag them both. And then say open, and these are going to now come into my Google Drive. Now, guys, keep in mind, you cannot run it in Google Drive. All you're doing is storing the file in your Google Drive. Why would we do this? Because now you can access it from anywhere with Internet. If you're at school, you're at another computer, you're at home on a computer, you're at grandma's on a computer, no matter where you are, you can get that file. Keep working in your world because up to now, you've been coming in and we've been doing a world uh, kind of like maybe 30 minutes on it is all probably the best you get, maybe 40 minutes on it. And uh, you probably never go in that world again more than likely. So this is a way to do it. Now, how do we go backwards now? We have saved it. Now we want to take it and bring it out when we want to use it, you know, a week from now, whatever. We say, oh, I want to go back in that world and play it. Now what you have to do is you have to go into, by the way, they're over here. Behold, okay. So there it is, test video. This is the make code. This is the Minecraft, Minecraft world. There's my files. I'm going to right click on it and download it. And again, where's it going? Download folder. Right click this one. Download. Canonic, it. Room 225 and, um, 231. Now, or for the last two, 225. Back from my drive, back into my computer. What do I have to do now? I have to go back into Minecraft. And now this is going to happen when you flip back and forth, it has to reload it. I'm going to uh, get out of this game because I'm in a game right now. I got to get back out to show you how to get this back in. And like I said, I know this video is going to be a little long, but this is a process. You see where the import button is? I want to go there. Import. Now, what am I importing? Only, only the Minecraft world. And if you go, oh, I don't know which one it is, uh, then you can take this little button here and make it it is on details list. No. Um, okay. Video test. Oh, I know why. Because okay, I think I made a mistake here. So I got to go back into my um, Google Drive. I don't think I did this one. Download. Okay. Let's go back and check. I, I apologize for that problem. Let me just cancel that. I'm going to go back into import, bring it back up. And, oh, I know why. Yeah, this has got to, I did it right. This is going to, I cannot do the make code in this process. This is just the, the video, the, the, the game file. Don't let me confuse you. Okay, now it's imported successfully. It's not open. Notice it's not open. That's because I got to go into my view my worlds. And now we will see it's right here. I know that, you know, I just, but yeah, I'm going to click that and open it. Once I open it and play it, then, then I can bring in my Microsoft make code file into my world. I know this is probably confusing, but once you do it a few times, it won't be so bad. And what this will do for you is allow you to continually work on a world for, you know, weeks, months, whatever. And uh, you won't lose anything and you'll be able to continue uh, building on it. Um, and your coding, more importantly, your coding is going to save along with the work you do. Because some of the coding takes a long time, you know. So as soon as this loads in here, I'm going to show you the final step, which is bringing your coding in. And that has to be done once you're in the world. And I know this video is going way longer than I wanted it to. But now I'm going to hit C for coding. And before I go any further, what I'm going to do, just so you can see, is I'm going to clear out whatever coding is in here. 
Remember, it's only pulling coding up that's on my computer. So I'm going to click the hamburger now, and I'm going to reset and reset again. So now you can see there's nothing in there, no files. And now I'm going to hit this button right here, and I'm going to import the file. Don't do URL. That's if you're getting it from the web. You know if somebody had a coding project that you could download from the web. But I would just do keep it simple to the file. And now it's got to choose file. We've got to find it. Where is it at? Downloads folder. Test video. MKD. That's the make code. Click that. Open. Now it's going to show up here. And then we say go ahead. And now we have our code. Just like that. And that's the final step. So I know that's a lot, boys and girls, and, and I know you're probably going, oh, my God, Mr. Phil, I can't do that. But we'll work with this for a while because I think it's important. Uh, otherwise, you're never going to make progress in this uh, coding of the stuff. Because you can see this is one code I wrote today, and all that does is makes a 3 by 3 mine shaft. And um, it's pretty simple, but it also looks pretty complicated. So um that's it i'm going to end it right there and uh, we'll work with it don't worry take it one step at a time and uh you know just try to get it. if you get if you do figure this out and you're pretty good at it maybe you can help uh, some of your classmates to also do it so that's all thank you